Hi, I, my name is Matt Cornell. Um, I'm an ISA certified arborist and an ISA uh, certified tree worker. Um, I just want to present to everybody um, the set of pads I've been working on uh, redesigning uh, over the past year. And uh, I've got them complete now. Um, I named it the Valiant. Um, and I designed these pads for um, advanced arborists in mind um, to where they could configure their own life support uh, system in to these pads um, with approved hardware such as rings or rigging hubs and approved material which would be cordage and to be able to configure uh, a traditional uh, three-point suspension I just have a piece of rope here tied off with three rings um, that can be incorporated into the into the way the, the saddle is strung up uh, using other cordage. The, the leg pads will accommodate up to 10 millimeter cordage. Um, the belt pad will accommodate anywhere from uh, uh, doubled up 8 millimeter cordage to 10 millimeter cordage to uh, half inch diameter cordage. There are multiple ways to uh, configure this saddle. I'm not going to go into detail on all those ways to tie it up. Um, not to mention that um, any time that uh, a climber uh, configures a life support system into this set of pads, they will become the manufacturer of the life support system. It's essentially the same as tying a hitch configuration onto a rope. Um, you become you or tying a knot in a rope. You become the manufacturer of that life support system that that you've configured um, using those cords and uh, and advanced systems. So I just want everyone to be aware of that um, I'm selling these pads as you see here, just two individual leg pads and the belt pad, um, and the pads are stamped right on them. Uh, pads designed by Matt Cornell are not for primary life support. They're uh, they are they are. I designed and made these um, for the out of box thinkers and the real craftsmen uh, and uh, the tree workers that uh, want to use their imagination and explore their creativity using their knowledge and their skill sets um, to be able to tie together uh, a saddle that no manufacturer can make for them. It would be very hard to have a saddle like this tested. Um, to the same standards that all other saddles are tested to due to the fact there are so many ways um, to configure a life support system into it. Um, I really embrace uh, individualism and the uniqueness of that person and I, and I, and I love freedom of expression and I, I, I designed all these, I designed all this to uh, enable and empower climbers to take it upon themselves um, and explore their options, you know, with these pads and uh, be able to make a saddle that um, no uh, manufacturer could make for them. And then uh, and it, it takes things to, you know, a new level. Um, this, this isn't for everybody, and I understand that. I'm not marketing this or making this for just a set group of people. I'm not uh, leaving anybody out that would want to purchase you know this set of pads and and try it but you'll have to do it at your own risk um, I'm not going to accept any responsibility um, for people who make the choice to take upon themselves this challenge of tying a rope saddle together there's a great history that that goes uh, back for over 100 years of tree workers tying their own rope saddles together um, this is really nothing new I've just uh, I've just given it a different look and a different approach, you know, with the padding on spreading out the surface area of the human frame. And, uh, and then it's up to the climber, you know, to, to choose the type of cords that they want to string into the saddle and the type of hardware that they want to use to configure together. I've always used a three-point suspension system and it's worked well for me. You can keep it really basic or you can, you know, you can really, uh, you can really make a, a, a fine-tuned advanced Arborist work positioning saddle using the set of pads, um, and I know there's going to be a lot of people that you know um, 
that this won't work for them, and that and that's fine. I I had you know countless climbers coming to me, you know, asking me, Matt, you know, can you uh, design another set of pads that we can tie our own rope saddles up with? And I wanted to answer that call for them, and uh, and I've done so with what you see here. The pads will be sold uh, through Ender's Arborist and Rope Supply um, with my business partner Scott Brenner and Maria Macalitis. They will be uh, marketing them and uh, distributing them. Um, the other manufacturer who's making these for me, I'm not gonna uh, go into. Uh, I'm not gonna discuss them um, because this is all my design. This is my work. I subbed this work out to this particular manufacturer for them to make for me, and they've done an outstanding job with the craftsmanship that, that has went into these pads with all my ideas and my thought over the past. Uh, this will be the compilation of my work over the last nine years, you know, of, of uh, you know, working with the rope saddle in general and everyone that knows me that knows the, the MCRS, the Matt Cornell rope saddle, and the previous design that I licensed to another manufacturer. Um, it didn't work out so well, and that's fine. I know all things don't always work for the better for everyone when it comes to business, and um, I've moved on and, and uh, with my design. And uh, now I want to get it back out there into the marketplace for all those who uh, want to uh, ex explore the rope saddle. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, it requires a lot of patience and, uh, and discipline and a lot of knowledge and skill to be able to uh, take upon themselves this challenge. Um, but I, I, I really hope it works out, you know, for those who want it. And uh, I'll do other videos here in the near distant future. And uh, I just want to let everyone know that it won't be long here in the next, you know, in the month or next month or so. Hopefully when uh, this pandemic with the COVID-19 um, subsides and everyone can start getting back to a sense of normal normalcy, I hope um, that I will be able to uh, launch these and uh, get these out into the marketplace for those who are interested in them. Uh, thank you very much, you know, for your time watching the video. And uh, I hope uh, you really like them. Thank you.